for my next video I thought I would start to get a bit more technical on things and um, actually show you uh, not as I actually do it because you'll be bored out of your brains but in various stages of me building it a, um, a converted scaler let me start from the beginning and you'll probably understand what I mean by that um, in some of the previous videos that I've shown you about scanline stuff and I've shown you the SLG 3000 scanline generator working on an LCD screen as I explained in the video you need something called a scaler to basically take the output from your from your RGB SCAR console if we say something like Super Nintendo or Saturn or whatever it is but if it's uh, presumably it's, it's RGB SCART um, <clears throat> and to connect that up to your uh, your LCD TV or your PC monitor some uh, some TVs and some monitors will have a SCART RGB input but you don't want to use that A because you can't use your SLG 3000 because that has to go through a VGA type connector um, you know D sub 15 uh, so you can't make use of that and also most of the scalers inside of existing TV sets and monitors um, are pretty gashed to be honest so you want to try and use an external scaler because the um, and the actual image will be uh, clearer or it should be clearer depending on what type of scaler you use now in the video uh, that I did previously I was using an old uh, type of scaler and the picture was fine, I mean to be honest it was fine, it was fine, it was a SCART RGB to, um, uh, to VGA scaler <clears throat> so it did exactly what I needed to do but unfortunately to feed it an appropriate SCART signal, RGB SCART, 15 kilohertz from a retro console it wouldn't work effectively because basically there's a problem with this sync uh, with a picture sync that comes from a um, from something like a Super Nintendo or a Saturn or Neo Geo or PC Engine is that uh, the signal actually is amplified so you've got to amplify the sync on it um, and to do that you can use something called a sync blaster which is available in the UK it's, it's sold by I think the company's called Keen but you can buy it through Maplins and that effectively takes a, a SCART RGB from a retro console for instance uh, converts it to a D sub 15 which is a VGA connector and it also strips the sync appropriately so it will be um, uh, usable on a VGA connection type and also it will amplify the sync if it's needed and it actually needs another power supply that you plug into the lead now that retails at around about 70 quid just for the lead, that's without the scaler, it's about 70 quid just for the lead and it works, it does it fine but you can actually buy the uh, the bits to make the sync amplifier and sync stripper for about £5 off eBay uh, you can buy the components and you build one yourself now, so all that aside, basically you would need, uh, based on the previous video that I did I had a separate scaler which was quite an old scaler and that scaler in fact if you want to buy that today it's about £130 just for the scaler again from Maplins or various other places you can pick it up from but I know Maplins do sell one of the same type um, and you've got to uh, if you want to buy something you've got to buy something like this this sink blaster cable uh, to go between the scaler and your console so you're talking all in you're talking your £200 there Plus, if you use your SLG 3000 to enable the scan lines, that's another, say, 50 quid. So you're talking 250 pound. Well, there are cheaper solutions out there. And the purpose of this video is to show a cheaper version and also a way to make up your own sync splitters or sync amps uh, to, to basically enable you to connect your, your old style retro console to a um, uh, to an appropriate uh, converter scaler, sorry, uh, to scale it up, so you can then use it with the SLG 3000 and then connect it to a PC monitor, an LCD screen, plasma, whatever. Uh, it will work on anything. 
I received this way under an, um, a, an unpacking video for this simply because I wanted to show you all in this sort of technical video of me building it up is that on um, on eBay you can buy a scale-up and it costs you £50 from a UK uh, supplier this. So you can get them cheaper if you if you want to risk uh, getting them from America but uh, if you get clobbered for import tax and VAT and everything and delivery you probably it'll probably work out the same price but but basically you can buy a scaler but it's a bare board like that and as a as default it needs a power supply connected to it so you have to buy a power supply but they're cheap enough it only takes five volts in but uh, natively it will take a component input on the front it will take a, a D sub 15 uh, socket uh, but it's meant for CGA so it would come from something like a jammer board or something like that and it's got various other connections you can utilize on the side as well uh, for jammer collection and output it's obviously got uh, your standard VGA Super VGA socket uh, and your D sub 15 and which is what you connect up to your SLG 3000 and then through to your LCD or plasma now and what you can actually connect up to it, if you know what you're doing, um, is you can convert a SCART socket, female socket, and solder it into the board so you can actually get a SCART RGB import, and that's what I'm going to do for this video. But uh, to actually enable it to work correctly, you've got to uh, build into it a sync stripper, a sync amp, so it will work with all those various types of retro consoles. And also, because you've actually got no audio on this board, and most of them you don't get audio on, on the scalers, is that I need to uh, create a breakout cable off the, off the SCART connection to enable me to output uh, left and right audio that I'll get to an amp or whatever I want to do with it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that various process of me actually building a, a sync stripper and amplifier, uh, taking into account that those bits around about £5. I've actually costed the whole lot out including getting a box for this which I haven't actually got yet but I'll, hopefully I'll try and pick one up tomorrow so I can uh, actually build it up into a into a nice unit you know, instead of having it having it as a bare board but it's actually fine as a bare board to be honest but it looks better if it's a unit um, and uh, all in I've costed it out in UK uh, for parts only have been around about £70 so for £200 is the alternative if you want to buy the bits from uh, say Maplin or wherever but if you want to buy bits off eBay and you want to have a go at soldering and it's not a difficult circuit to solder believe me uh, you're talking about about £70 all in which is a hell of a lot cheaper and the quality of this scaler is actually better than the quality of my old scaler which is actually about £130 to buy so it's sort of win-win really in that way um, so yeah what I'm not going to show I'm not going to show you me building up specifically the PCB I'll show you it in various stages but I'm not going to show, show you me soldering it all up because you'll get bloody bored so I'll do it in various stages um, and there will be quite a bit of information to go through but I don't want to get bogged down in too much detail because you'll just switch off but if you want to ask me anything uh, specific about about the sync circuit or how I've soldered stuff or whatever then, then of course fire away in the comments but but we'll see how we get on and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will all work when I plug it all in. I haven't done this before as regards to building this, this sink stripper or sink amp and I haven't tried connecting it to this board either so I don't know whether it's going to work. In principle it will work because that's actually what I'm using already, albeit in a ready-made cable that I've got that costs you know, 60, 70 quid. So, so hopefully for a fiver we can get it all up and running. Uh, more or less and uh, yeah so I'll show you that I'll show you the board running as well in the end on on perhaps my big LCD screen downstairs because the previous videos I showed you were on a PC LCD right just really quickly now I'm just going to run through the various parts that I'm going to be using this here is the breakout lead that is actually uh, sorry that actually comes with the with the eBay uh, CGA to VGA scaler so the white end will be what you plug into the actual scalar board itself and it has the various excuse me, wires coming off it for red, green, 
blue horizontal vertical sink and ground we have a uh, printed circuit board which I won't be using all that, I'll only use a very small part of that but that's to mount the components on uh, the actual components is we've got an IC there which you can't see very well, it's not going to zoom because I've got macro mode on but that is the actual chip that does all the clever bits so that effectively is what uh, takes the composite sink and strips it out to horizontal and vertical or splits it to horizontal and vertical ready for a, a VGA type input and and also uh, this amplifies the sync circuit as well so it'll work with the retro consoles and this is called a LM1881 IC and that's specifically uh, for that task of doing that we need a resistor and this is a 680k ohm uh, resistor we need two disc type capacitors which are 0.1 microfarad so that's all part of the sort of main uh, splitter circuit and then as auxiliary items really uh, for connection we have a phono connection there are two of them so it's red and white which will be used for uh, for left and right audio and I'll take that off of this connector which is the female SCART connector so my console SCART lead will plug into this and then off the back of that that will go through the sync stripper through into the loom that I've got into the CGA VGA scaler and off the back of this I will also take the appropriate audio uh, plugins off so I can get audio through an amp so that's the basis of the kit okay so here we have the uh, unit completely uh, wired up I have checked it it does work um, and it was fairly straightforward to be honest I've sort of tidied the loom up a bit as regards to the different uh, various things that I've connected to it so so looking on the board itself, this is the uh, this bit of loom here is actually what comes with the board. So basically, I've just connected into that. Um, so this is oops, sorry, this is RGB uh, horizontal sync, vertical sync, and ground. This is a SCART socket, so it's a female SCART. So I can plug a a SCART lead straight into that from a console. I've tested it with PlayStation 2 and Super Nintendo and it works absolutely fine so I know that the amp on the sink is working correctly and I also know that the sink splitter is working correctly. I'll get an absolute great picture. I've also, as I've said before, I've spliced into the SCART socket to get left and right audio. So basically I've got two phonos there that I'll connect up to an amp or my TV or whatever I want to do and I can get audio uh, from the SCART connection, so that's absolutely fine. This is the actual uh, sync splitter circuit, so you've got the IC there, uh, two capacitors and a resistor. You notice this clunge on the uh, on the top here, that's, I, I find this stuff really useful, it's, it, it's basically a glue gun. And if you put it on wires uh, that are coming off circuit boards etc it gives them a bit more support, stops them from snapping off at the at the um, uh, the point that they're uh, that they're soldered on. So that's good stuff, that is. And to actually power the uh, sync amplifier, you've got this red here, which basically uh, jumpers off the off the main feed to the scaler. So it basically means I've only got one power input or one power supply required normally on the uh, sync strippers if they're external or sync amps you have to power them externally but obviously I've been able to share an existing power off off this main board so it it, uh, it all works it works as it does with something like a sync blaster cable but everything's all in one unit now uh, the only thing I've got to do now is try and get it in a box but to be honest if it doesn't go in a box it's not a major disaster really all you got to do is plug in the uh, 5 volt supply into there, power it up and job done and, and obviously plug your um, a RGB SCART cable into that from your console uh, plug your audio into that and you're good to go so the main benefit of this kit now is the fact that I've got a multi input scaler 
Um, I've got my component inputs, which are already mounted. Sorry, which are already mounted on the side of the board, uh, which are part of the board. So, for instance, if I want to take a component input from a PlayStation 2, um, an Xbox, or a GameCube, I can do that and get a slightly better picture quality on the progressive input side. And of course, I've got this uh, this kit here, which will let me accept a SCART RGB feed. And obviously, these on the side here are the output to the monitor or the LCD screen. So what I would normally do with this board is actually stick this afterwards. Uh, so I'd get a VGA cable coming out of there, going into the input side of my SLG uh, 3000 uh, scanline generator. Out of that, straight to the TV or the LCD monitor. And like I said, I've tried this, it does work. Uh, and yeah, that's all I can say really. I don't, I, I don't really know what else to say. Um, so, in essence, this uh, bit of kit, which is a CGA to VGA scaler, will enable you to play your retro uh, consoles on an LCD or plasma screen or, or monitor via a, a VGA uh, socket, a, a D sub 15. Um, it will scale the picture up and it will also enable you to have in line, as I've just said, an SLG uh, 3000 scanline generator, which is really what this is for, to be fair, is to get the benefit out of that. But even if you don't use that, uh, this will scale the picture into the TV better than most TVs will anyway, uh, with their inbuilt scalers, because they're pretty naff. And uh, the total cost of what you see here obviously minus any labour that you put into it, is, excluding the case, is, I think I worked it out to be about 64, 65 pound, all in, so that's a scaler as well. Um, I get a case for about five pound, I'm gonna try and locate a case tomorrow from Maplin, uh, one that I hopefully will fit quite nicely, and I'll mount it all in the case. But that is your finished project, really, for a CGA to VGA scaler with a SCART RGB mod, an audio mod. Thanks for watching.